2020 was a year of real superheroes. Never before has there been a borderless event of this magnitude that has influenced our thinking, lifestyle, decision-making, and interdependence. Local and global dynamics have totally changed and 2020 has not been a normal year in any way. Our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. We cannot deny the fact that this year was dramatic and horrific for many of us because of the rise in domestic violence, unemployment, economic instability, lockdown, working from home, and irresponsible behavior by those who have not taken the pandemic seriously. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. <laughs> de atleta. Caso fosse contaminado pelo vírus, não precisaria me preocupar. Nada sentiria ou seria, quando muito acometido de uma gripezinha ou resfriadinho. Disinformation was also widespread and the role of social media was criticized for not fulfilling its due responsibilities. COVID-19 disrupted the operational capabilities of businesses across the globe and put in danger many small and medium enterprises. In short, this year has changed the economic, political, social, and environmental dynamics forever. Now we realize the devastation caused by the pandemic but COVID-19 has also acted as a wake-up call for all of us to adapt to the changing environment and to reimagine the roles of industry, government, and civil society. We saw many positive things this year and believe me, the events of 2020 are going to reshape the future of humanity. This is a time for science and solidarity.
instance, this was the year of creativity, digital connectivity, virtual events, remote working, innovation, and dare I say evidence-based decision-making. We saw many inventions in the field of healthcare, fintech, and online education. We also witnessed many acts of kindness and charity, sacrifice, and gained a new appreciation for those that work on the front lines. This was also the year of social activism, women leadership, and Black Lives Matter. There has also been a greater demand for accountability and transparency in decision making, inclusive of all sectors. We also looked back at our food production strategies and the risks facing our global supply chains. During this year we also talked about the prospects of digitalization, the digital economy, green finance, data protection, and the importance of cybersecurity. Most importantly, our planet got a breather after many centuries of resource-intensive industrialization. In a year that science could not be denied, Many of the skeptics finally woke up to both the crisis and the opportunity of climate change. As we welcome another new year, we also have many challenges ahead of us in 2021. Successful recovery requires redesigning our economies so that we prioritize sustainability over short-term profits. Building back better will also require us addressing rising inequality. But I promise you, it'll be the single most diverse cabinet based on race, color, based on gender that's ever existed in the United States. The distribution of the coronavirus vaccine will be a critical test to see if we are serious about equitable access to public goods. A vaccine by itself is not enough. We need global solidarity to ensure that every person everywhere has access. The COVID-19 vaccine must be seen as a global public good. Do not forget to subscribe our channel for future updates.